My baby is waking up. Hi, y'all. If you could see this, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Janae. If you are new, if you are not, hey, sis, I sound like them. Make sure that you are subscribed and if you are liking these videos and you are sharing them with your friends. And um, turn on your post notifications because I have been dropping videos probably like weekly. So this video is a little different. If you notice, you can read the title and see. Um, I just wanted to come and do a sit down video with you guys just because I get a lot of DMs on my Instagram um, about why did I choose to do YouTube? Like why YouTube? So. I just wanted to come on here and just sit down and talk to y'all and, you know, let y'all in on why YouTube and what type of things that you could, yet you would need to start a YouTube channel and things to just be, that I've learned thus far. It's only been a few months for me, but honestly, I have learned a lot in these couple months. Um, still trying to figure out what works for me, a schedule, a realistic schedule. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned. So you are here and you like since why YouTube? <laughs> um, I chose YouTube for a few different reasons. Um, number one, since being here on YouTube, I've noticed that there's not a lot of people that look like me on YouTube. Um, and the people who do look like me on YouTube are not doing the things that I do on YouTube. And I would say I'm doing something that's super miraculous or super different, um, that's like groundbreaking, but I feel like I'm showing that us as Muslim women, um, you know, we have families as well and we get to do fun things, we do cool things, we're regular people just like everybody else. And I felt like I needed to showcase that, I needed to broadcast that because it's a lot of um, misconceptions of what us Muslim women do on a daily day, like what we are allowed to do, shall I say. Um, so I said, you know what? I'm gonna let people see. Like, you see, yeah, you can't see nothing, but understand, sis, we out here living, right? <laughs> I'm an Instagram girl, like Instagram girl. And I feel like a lot of people don't like Instagram for a number of reasons. Um, people think Instagram is just, right now, it's just oversaturated. Or Instagram is against people in their algorithm. And Instagram is not the same as it used to be. And that's true. Um, but I enjoy Instagram because Instagram is a, a platform for me where I'm most comfortable. Instagram is easy for me to navigate. Instagram is literally straightforward. So you produce content, you put it out, and I said it. Honestly, when it comes to other platforms like TikTok and um, YouTube, it's harder for me, honestly. It's harder for me. So I am not really a short-form person when it comes to content I'm trying to get better but I am more pictures I'm that type of person I am in the moment type of thing and not do not always do I pull out my camera to record I more so pull out my camera to take a picture um, when it comes to recording this is why I got a camera you know what I'm saying this is why I've got a, a physical camera and I'm like you know what this camera is going to be used for recording my phone is going to be used for that short that short form content and pictures so um but like i said i chose youtube because i didn't want to flood my instagram with this type of content i felt like sitting down having conversations and talking and vlogging and stuff like that i thought it was for youtube when all along now i noticed that a lot of people love mini vlogs on instagram a lot of people love eating the day on um Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Like, not only do you people go to YouTube for that stuff, but I feel like people like to see that on YouTube as on Instagram as well as YouTube. So, but me, I just wanted to make sure that I was given the content that people liked on 
different platforms, if that makes sense. So I chose YouTube because I was like, you know what, I can sit down, I can have these long videos, I can talk, I can let people in on really a day to day what's going on. Um, and I said, why not? You know, like, why not? Um, I understand a lot of people do not watch YouTube. Um, like, I can sit and watch vlogs all day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can watch them. And then it's times when I'm not in a vlogging mood and I just want to see, um, I want to sit and watch informational or educational type of videos um, where these people teach you certain things. So I've been, like I said, I've been learning the different, different things throughout this process and it's only been a few months. Um, but I have learned a lot when it comes to YouTube and um, posting content on YouTube and um, trying to attract and, uh, and grasp the attention of your, your following or those people who aren't following you but like hey what's up you like i've noticed that you like stuff like this so follow me you know what i'm saying so um that's that the baby's leaking up so so yeah so like i was saying um youtube is like a platform that i go to for educational videos like um and for like information so like even stuff like looking up reviews and um stuff like that so when i'm like purchasing like big ticket items like anything honestly not even just big ticket items but certain things like when i um when i was looking for a wagon um the wagon stroller for my kids i went to youtube and i watched videos and i watched um you know tutorials on that type of stuff just so i could have an understanding of what was going on like is this a good wagon because one thing for sure to for certain People on YouTube are going to tell the truth. Like, when it comes to those reviews, them people is going to let you know. So, that is that. That's, that's why I chose um, YouTube for an extra additional platform for me to, you know, be, have a social media presence on. But, that's that. When it comes to this YouTube thing, it's very, very scary. Every single time I pull out my camera to record, I'm nervous. Um, I can't say that throughout um, the vlogs, I've noticed that I am becoming more and more comfortable. But that's only because I kind of understand who I am and what I want to portray when it comes to me and my family on social media. Um, so, like I said, I'm here to just show that... Muslim women are just as regular and normal as a non-Muslim woman. You know what I'm saying? It's just, of course, there's certain things that we don't, that we stay away from. But for the most part, we go to the mall. We go out to eat. <laughs> we go to Target. We love Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, we like our house to look nice. We like, you know, nice things. We like luxury. We like sneakers and shoes and bags, stuff like that. So I think people think that because we are so covered up that we are, we are oppressed and that we can't have a life and that is not true like i said sis be over here living <laughs> so yes so now as far as what you need to start a youtube channel um you need the confidence to say i'm going to start it um it's easier said than done a lot of people say be consistent be this that's true but um you have to really understand what's the reason you're doing it um like i said i found a different outlet and i found a different why um <laughs> i found a different why on why i wanted to do youtube so that's that but um as far as what you need to do YouTube. I've watched a lot of videos where a lot of YouTubers said they use their phone. I have an iPhone like 10 and up. You can do YouTube. Um, they just, I don't know, a lot of people suggest that you use your back camera to record because the camera quality, I mean the video quality is way better. Um, so you can use your phone. Um, me, my phone is always either with my son or like Nor usually has my phone or I like to have my phone free from stuff like that because I don't I know I save a lot of stuff on my phone. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna get a camera. So I have a camera, the camera that I have, I'm gonna put like a picture here. 
I have the Sony ZV-1. I think they have a camera that's like under that one, which is a, it's cheaper, and it's the Sony ZV, the Sony ZV-1F, I think. And then they have uh, one that's above the Sony ZV-1, and it's the Sony E10 or something like that. I'm going to post them here. Um, but honestly, the Sony E10, that's what it's called, and the Sony ZV-1 are the same price. But the Sony E10 gives you way better quality. Um, but yeah, so I have the Sony ZV-1, and that's the camera that I vlog on. That's the camera that I record everything on when it comes to my short form i record on my phone i do um and i'll post like my camera settings here so you can see because i can't admit like i mean i can i can't lie my quality for my short form videos are good and sometimes i'm like wow this looks so good so i'm gonna post like my settings here on the screen just so you can see them um, as far as equipment, again, like I said, I use a camera. Um, I do have a tripod. Like, I have my phone, I mean, my camera right now on my bigger tripod. Um, I love this tripod. I use my MacBook and my iPad for editing, um, for doing my thumbnails. Um, I use my... I don't see I use Canva for editing well not editing I use Canva for like thumbnails for my YouTube intro and outro and stuff like that so when I use Canva I don't know how to really use Canva on my laptop I use Canva on my iPad so um and that's why I got like the Apple Pencil too so I use Canva on my iPad and I do like all of that type of stuff um when it comes to my laptop I edit using CapCut. I still use CapCut. I love CapCut. I use CapCut on my laptop to edit my vlogs, any type of videos, whether it's review videos or whatever. I use CapCut. It's easy. A lot of people use, like, if you have Macs, I know some people may use iMovie, some people use Final Cut Pro, but um, I feel like the more I get, like, further into my YouTubing and my vlogging and my editing, I probably would upgrade my editing software to something like Final Cut Pro, but as of right now, CapCut works for me. Like it works, it's straightforward. I can, I know what to do. I can, you know, maneuver it with no problem. So I use CapCut on my laptop. Um, I do have like a camera bag um, that I just hold like all of my stuff in. And um, I use these. These are um, USB readers. Um, yeah, so it's a different one. So one is for my laptop, one is for my phone. Um, but yeah, you can get your content off of your phone, your laptop. Um, you can get them off your phone or your laptop, or you can get it off your SD card. So I use these. Um, I have replacement batteries that I bought that came with this charger. The camera does come with one battery, um, but I can honestly say it is very important to buy a um, battery charger and replacement batteries. Um, my One of my tripods, I think is this Flexi One tripod. Um, it came with this remote. This is Bluetooth to your phone. You see it says like, uh, is it focusing? iOS and Android. So you can Bluetooth it to your phone. So this way you can like click this if you want to record from your phone, if you have your phone in your tripod, or if you want to take a picture, you can use this. And you can buy like so many of these, just spare on um, Amazon. Another thing that I have and I use for, recording is this light this light is in me look how bright it is like oh my goodness so have this light um it gives like super white or it can be like more yellow tint light um but 
this light is a very good light and it has like the cochu so it can kind of like go on your phone or on your tripod if your tripod allows you to do the cochu i think it's called a cochu um and then i just have like cords like chargers for my phone chargers for my ipad and my laptop um this is rechargeable so i don't know if you see like on the back it has like this the port for the charger this is rechargeable so that's good um yeah like i said this bag i just put all of my things in here just so i know where everything is like all those small <laughs> the small little pieces that i carry around but honestly to start your youtube you just need to start it like you probably will never be ready because it's scary but just do it like i said find a software i mean i added a software that works for you i know some people who may use like video leap like i said i use CapCut. um whatever works for you whichever is easy for you to navigate you can use your phone to record um what I don't have is an external hard drive that I really need to order. And I think I'm going to just add that to my Amazon cart, like, now. So it's, like, very, very important. Because I think I can get, like, all of this stuff off of my phone and free up some space. Because I keep getting, like, alerts about my phone storage. So, yeah, that's that. I wanted to get on here and show y'all how I edit my um, edit my thumbnails right like I said I use Canva <clears throat> and I literally like this is this simple layout so um, yeah it's so easy I use this and I kind of keep a certain aesthetic like a certain look that I want Remember, like, thumbnails are important. So I'm still playing around with my thumbnails because thumbnails can make or break if somebody click your video. So depending on what your thumbnail looks like, people are like, oh, let me see what they was doing. Oh, they was weird. That's the type of stuff that you, you know, you want to make sure you grasp. And so alongside recording on your camera or your phone, like your camera or your phone, make sure that you're taking, like, pictures of where you guys are because that helps for um, your thumbnails. Like I said, I do a lot of things on Canva. Canva is like my baby. Like I did my I did my um logo here on Canva. I do like I said, I do my thumbnails on Canva. I did my um outro here on Ooh, Canva. Outro. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Um, yeah, so I use Canva for like all of that type of stuff. Another question I get asked a lot is like, why don't I show my kids? <laughs> I get asked a lot, like, you're on YouTube, why don't you show your kids? Like, people want to see your family. Like, what's up? I don't show my kids on any of my social media platforms. Put a couple of feet. None of them. Like, none of my social media platforms do I post my children. I don't even post myself on my social media platforms. I don't even post, like, old pictures of myself on my social media platforms. So, it's just something that I just don't do. Um, and it's just more so a protection for my children, um, a protection for my family, for myself. Um, because, you know, people are mean. You know, people are very, very mean. Whether you have the people that's on uh, because your kids are cute or, you know, beautiful or pretty or handsome, whatever, you have that. And people could be like, ooh and I, and they could become like obsessive over your children. Um, and then you have those people, you have some people who are like, ew, our kids are ugly. Or, oh my God, you see how, you see that face? You see this? I just don't want to expose my children to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not. Just because I chose YouTube and I chose this doesn't mean that they want to be on social media and be bullied. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't post my children at all. Like, and another question I get is, what does it mean? Like, what does the neutral mom mean? The name the neutral mom. And 
I'm gonna break it down because it's like it's it's like two different it's, it's two things that kind of make it into what it is the first thing is neutral if you know me you know I had a brand called club new kids and the new was in you um, and it, club new kids was um, a neutral brand for both little girls and little boys my clothes the clothes that i designed were not specific in gender so am i battery died but that's what i said that's why it's important to have those extra batteries <laughs> but i was on here and i was talking about i think why did i choose the name the neutral mom and like i said i had a clothing brand a kids clothing brand called club new kids and it was a neutral brand for both boys and girls nothing i designed was for girls nothing i designed specifically was for boys so that's where it knew is new that's where that came from like neutral when i was venturing off from i stopped doing club new kids and i wanted to do something that was related to what my life was at like right now um and that's being a mom and posting like things that i've learned throughout the process and helping people and showing people that you're not alone when this happens like all of us as mom go through it that's when i said i have to change my name and i have to figure out a name but i wanted it to be and connection to um, Club New Kids. So I said, you know what? I did new. Um, and that's what it's like neutral mom. So neutral mom is not necessarily meaning neutral, meaning or cut my colors and the things that I like. I do. I'm a very, I like, I like muted tones. I like neutral colors um, for aesthetic reasons, but my name is not necessarily that for that reason. The neutral mom was to show that there's no right or wrong way, no specific way that you parent. Um, and that the way that you parent and the way that I parent necessarily might not be exactly the same, but understand it's things that you may do that I can adapt and vice versa. So neutral meaning it's not gender specific. Like I'm not a, uh, uh, the way that I do things is not only because I'm a boy mom. You know what I'm saying? Like the things that I do is because I'm a mom. And true mom, it just was like a spinoff from Club New Kids. Um, it not necessarily, it does not necessarily mean what the name says. Like it's confusing to me, you know, I think about it, but um, I like my name, the Nutri Mom. I feel like um, it kind of can play both ways. Like I said, I can do the aesthetic stuff with the colors and, and be neutral. Or neutral mean I'm in the middle. Like you say, you parent, you put your kids down a bit in their own bed. Um, and this person say, no, my kids sleep with me. I'm in the middle. It's whatever works for me at that time. So if that night, them sleeping in their bed works they sleep in their bed if the next night sleeping in my bed works they sleep in my bed you know what i'm saying so it's like i'm in the middle we coasting we we figuring this thing out as we go so that is the neutral mom that's what that means that's where that came from and i think that's really it i did want to do a sit down video with you guys and answer some questions that you may have but nobody y'all didn't participate on my instagram if you follow this room you did not participate in my instagram sis when i said give me some questions for a video nobody is no nobody participated <laughs> but um you can always dm me any type of questions if you know me i'll always answer my dms i'm always um letting it let you guys in on whatever it is that you may ask me pertaining to youtube pertaining to content pertaining to motherhood i try my best to answer and i try my best to talk. you gotta chill and i try my best to help um so yeah message me comment below some questions um again like i said make sure you're subscribed to my channel like follow share whatever y'all gotta do on this youtube channel to get us get this popping because we we gotta get it get it rolling we gotta get 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 it going <laughs> so whatever you need to do to make sure that you know this video is seen and you are heard do that like i said i'm here to represent mothers i'm not here to represent you know i am a muslim a muslim and i'm a mom so i am going to represent for us first like 
says I'm here, but I'm a mom. Motherhood is motherhood. It, it is no other way. There's no way to get around it. Like, regardless of what your belief is, regardless of what you look like, regardless of if you have boys or you have girls or you have both or whatever, motherhood is motherhood. So I'm here to just hold it down for, for us as moms. <laughs> you know, we winging it. We, we going day by day. So that's to me. That's, that's, what, that's what we do here on the Nutri Mom. So thank you so much for staying here. If you watched this whole entire video, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. If this isn't your first video that you've watched, thank you i am I'm, I'm truly appreciative of everything that you guys do when it pertains to um supporting me and what i put out um again if you are not following me i'm on every single social media platform well not every single one i am on instagram tiktok um i'm on those two under the same name the nutri mom so Majority of the YouTube, I mean, the social media platforms that I post on, my name is the same as the Nutri Mom. That's just me. Um, so you can follow me on those channels as well. Again, I think you would want to follow my Instagram. I post more on Instagram than I do on anything else. Um, so Instagram is like me. Like, that's me. So, yeah. So, again, thank you for being here. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.